Hey guys, what's up? Happy Sunday. It is actually race day today, so uh, as you saw, I had my coffee and some overnight oats, and I typically don't do coffee first thing in the morning, but in the interest of getting everything flowing this morning, um, which we've already had success at that, so uh, I went ahead and did coffee first before we uh, started heading over there. So. Uh, now we are finishing the last minute packing stuff we need. Um, just make sure I got all my, you know, shoes, most important, uh, my, my bib and all that stuff. Uh, I've got it on a, um, like a bib belt. That's what I typically use when I run races. So make sure I got all that stuff with me, packing some, uh, a couple beers for after the race and everything. So we got about a hour, just over an hour drive. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, the interstate should be pretty dead right now. So uh, we're about to head over there. We're gonna leave about five, 5.30 and get there for a seven o'clock start. So uh, ready to go uh, hit these 13 miles and see what we can do. I don't know if I'm gonna set a PR, but hopefully I can be uh, 220 for this race. So, but like I said, in my other videos, my goal is just to finish healthy, finish strong, and get that medal. So I uh, hope you guys are having a great Sunday, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.
Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Monday. It's the day after the race. And I uh, just want to do a quick pop on to, I guess, give a recap. Uh, the race run, everything was pretty fucking awesome. Uh, I felt good pretty much the entire time. I feel like I was strongest around mile six to nine. Uh, I remember that being going through the boardwalk and I passed quite a few people. Um, it was pretty tight, but it was I was able to uh, make pretty decent headway during that time frame. Uh, about mile nine, mile ten, the sun came out and it was just brutal. The last three miles of the run, um, I think overall uh, I finished 56 in my age group out of about 98, so you know right in the middle, uh, and I think 686 out of like almost 1800 overall in the entire race for the half marathon uh, I don't know if that includes the full but I don't, I don't think it does so you know pretty decent stats I'm I'm pretty stoked with how everything went yesterday uh, nutrition was on point uh, I hit one water stop uh, I think around mile six there was a I remember seeing a sign and I don't think that there was another water stop for another 2.5 miles is what the sign said so I decided to go ahead and take some water 
uh, in on that stop uh, Gatorade as well I think I did one of each so uh, overall everything again went great um, only had one slight mishap I was taking a turn and again a goddamn uneven sidewalk and the knee slightly buckled a little bit but I was able to keep it from going too crazy and do a quick recovery and get myself uh, straightened out and, and keep going straight so um, again uh, I guess I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do next um, I think there's a half marathon that's pretty close by uh, like maybe 30-45 minute drive away uh, in February or March uh, the Orange Blossom half Mar Horn Orange Blossom Trail half marathon so I think that's going to be my next focus so I'll probably take today uh, this well at least this week off do some stretching and some foam rolling I've already got a couple foam rolling classes scheduled today and uh, yeah just do some light biking because I'll, I'll be honest I'm a little stiff today the 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 thighs are a little stiff and the calves are a little tight so do some of that and some um, rolling of the legs and that should be good to go so hopefully uh, maybe Wednesday or Thursday this week I'll get back out there and start getting some more miles logged in so uh, about to pour my cup of myself a cup of coffee and uh, get this day started so again hope you guys have a great week and we'll talk to you later bye